Inspired by David's ideas, his colleague, Professor Caroline Fall, is leading a study with the potential to fix the diabetes epidemic in India. At the moment, if you talk about preventing diabetes, people are talking about making middle-aged people lose weight. And A, that's impossible to do, and B, it doesn't seem to work very well anyway. Um, and so the idea that you could actually build a human being that was more resistant to this disease was amazing to me. Caroline's plan to halt the diabetes epidemic doesn't rely on high-tech labs or fancy science. It rests mainly on these women and one kitchen. These recipes contain all the crucial building blocks needed to build a body resistant to disease. Folic acid, calcium, iron, vitamin A. The calcium will be important for bone growth. The green leafy vegetables contain small quantities of essential fatty acids, which are important for brain growth. All of those nutrients are important in different tissues of the body. The fetus at a very, very early microscopic stage is sensitive to the nutrients around it. And if we miss that, we feel that we would be missing the most important stage of development. Every day, over 1,500 snacks are made in this kitchen. They are taken to about 50 clinics in the slums across the city. In total, over 6,700 women have participated and each must begin eating the supplements well before they fall pregnant. It's a logistical nightmare where the utmost care must be taken to be scientific. Well, I'm very glad to have met Mira. <laughs> it's been hard work. It's been hard work setting up a study like this. To carry it out on the ground <laughs> in a population like this is very difficult. It is a mandatory for a woman to come to the center and have the supplement in front of the project lab because it is very important, you know, because if they take it home, somebody else can eat it, if they, if they can throw it out or the child can eat it, you know, I mean, we are not sure who uh, the supplement has gone into whose stomach, you know, so it's very important to have women coming to the center. The center is full of women eating supplements from well before pregnancy until they give birth. And there are also babies who must be measured at one, three, six and 12 months. Their weight, length and body fat are recorded and they are even testing their mental development. It is an ambitious, long-term project. The seven, seven and a half, half years. years. How many more? Ah. Uh, forever, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> <laughs> the results of this study will begin to come in next year. We're providing better nutrition into the mother, but the mother herself has had a poor early development, which may affect the quality of her eggs. It certainly affects the size of her uterus and the quality of the blood supply to the uterus. So she is still constraining the development and growth of that fetus. 